First on CBS This Morning, we're getting a look at potentially groundbreaking technology that could one day change the future of food safety. Scientists at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology are using artificial intelligence to create a system that will allow people to test foods and drinks for contamination. Every year, an estimated one in six Americans get sick from contaminated foods, and 3,000 people actually die from this. Nikki Batiste got a behind-the-scenes look at how the new technology will work. She's at a food market right here in good old New York City. I like the look of this grocery store. Nikki, good morning to you. It's colorful, Gail. Good morning. Well, if you've ever gotten sick from eating bad produce or questioned that expiration date on your groceries, there may be a solution. MIT is developing new technology that will give consumers control when it comes to avoiding dangerous foodborne illnesses. No lettuce. Nope. A no lot much. of water, there's bread. In 2015, Ali Goldman contracted a life-threatening case of E. coli and spent more than a month in a coma. When I woke up, I was really unaware of where I was. They had carried me to a mirror because I couldn't walk. And um, I looked in the mirror and I didn't know who I was. I was about 95, 97 pounds. Goldman got the bacteria after eating a spinach salad sandwich at a New York cafe. She hasn't eaten lettuce in nearly four years. How's your relationship with food now? I dread it. I live in constant fear um, every single day. But a team of scientists at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology could soon change that. Will this technology be able to read E. coli and lettuce? I hope so. Lead in water? I hope so. Fake alcohol on my vacation? Definitely. Fadal Adib like is leading the team. If we do it ourselves. It when we first arrived at MIT, they had worked through the night to show food? us this, the early stages of a system they say could revolutionize food safety. We hope to be able to build a portable device that a person can take with them when they're trying to buy something from a supermarket or from a farmer's market. Adib envisions the device will be the size of a phone charger and plug into your cell phone. But right now, it looks like this, a black piece of foam with green antenna. According to Adib, the device is pre-programmed to detect specific contaminants in products like milk and alcohol. The device reads signals from a wireless sticker on the food or beverage packaging and transmits the results to a phone app. We want to test it for contaminants. The team showed us what a prototype of the app might look like. You can see that it is actually fake alcohol. MIT believes that technology could help people avoid safety hazards such as tainted alcohol, which either kills or blinds hundreds of people every year. The goal is for consumers to one day be able to use the technology to test meals in restaurants and at home. You could also envision future smart fridges that incorporate this technology to detect contaminated food or food spoilage. If I scan food and I'm told that this lettuce is contaminated, where else does that information go? It will be uploaded to an online database. Ideally, this database will even be connected to servers which regulation boards have access to. Regulation boards like the CDC, which says 128,000 Americans are hospitalized by foodborne illnesses every year. We have great technology now, and still 48 million Americans get sick every year. While consumers like Goldman are interested in being able to detect contamination themselves, food safety lawyer Bill Marler hopes grocery stores will use the technology too. I see the best use of this kind of technology as sort of before it hits the marketplace, before it goes on a grocery store shelf. In the near term, I hope consumers will do it. In the long term, I hope that it will become so seamless that it will disappear into the environment such that it is in the infrastructure of the grocery store. Do you think in the future it will be as mainstream as paying with your phone like we do now? I certainly hope that, that this will be the case. Professor Adib told CBS News this technology could be in people's hands within five years. He also hopes one day the system will be able to detect sugar levels and calories, which Bianna, of course, could help diabetics and anyone watching their weight. Sounds promising, Nikki, and you told us yesterday the FDA is looking into this technology as well. Thank you.